today we're going to show you how injection molding is comparing to 3D printing and some of the new technologies that are making it so that 3D printing is actually excelling over the speeds of injection molding. So we have a lot of people ask about it and we're uh, we're going to show you how this is really affecting the, uh, the speed of 3D printing. So uh, here we have an injection molded part. Injection molding, how it works is typically you have cycle times between 45 seconds to around 90 seconds. An average injection molding print time is usually around 60 seconds. And the way that it works is you have two halves and a slider, or you may have sliders, you may not, you may have screws, you may not, depending on the complexity of the mold. So you have an A and a B, and these two parts come together, and then you inject with plastic, and then your parts separate, and your part has to fall. And so it falls down, or it's either collected by some kind of robots, um, the complexity of the mold is really determined on the complexity of your part. If it has different sliders that have to come out of different angles, whether it's ports, if you have threads in there, then all of that makes your mold a little more complex. The, also, the, uh, the number of cavities that a mold has will make it more complex. And so this piece is a cover, is, is a cover plate for an outlet. And so if you look on the back of this cover plate, you can see a number. This number is 36. These are very common in the world, and so this mold can justify having a 36 cavity mold. Most molds don't have 36. Most are less than eight cavities. Most are actually one cavity at a time. So the more complex, the more cavities you have, the more expensive it is. When, when people think of 3D printing, most of the time they think of FDM printers. There's, in my home, I have a, a Creality uh, Ender 3. My kids love printing with it. And most people, that's a very common printer that most people know. The Bamboo, uh, the Carbon X1 printer just came out and it can print at 500 millimeters a second. So because of that 500 millimeters a second, it's really changing and revolutionizing the, the way that people look at FDM printing. Just like the FDM prints, technology in LCD prints is, is accelerating as well. So right here behind me, we have a bunch of LCD printers and this is a lot of the technology that we use. It's similar to SLA, it uses a resin, but the cool thing about this printing is this is your print bed for the photocentric magnets. And the way that it that works is with this printer is it'll go down in the resin and you can print, you have your X and your Y and it'll print one whole Z layer all at once. So this particular part, this is a binocular tether for Alaska Guide Creations. So. Alaska Guide Creations came to us and they sent us an order for 5,000 pieces and we printed it, they loved it. We sent an order for 25,000 pieces, then they sent an order for 60,000 pieces. And we went to our team, we said, how quick can we print this? It came back that we could print 60,000 of these tethers if the stars aligned, we could print it in under a day. So we hit print at eight o'clock in the morning and we delivered 62,700 of these parts at 4.30 of the afternoon. So that included post-processing, that included everything because, and how it worked was this part was printed on this plate. We could put about a thousand of these binocular tethers in one print, in one plate. And this print, because it's about three quarters of an inch high, it only took about 45 minutes. So under an hour to print these. So in comparison, if you're gonna injection mold this, you would, you would have an AB cavity, but you would also have a slider for this little piece right here. For a 60 second cycle time, if you were gonna compare to the speed that we printed at, you would need 149 cavity mold to keep up with the speed that we were printing at. We had 2.4 of these coming off the printers every second. We had about 20 printers going. The photocentric magnet printers, they retail for about 20 grand. So if you're gonna buy 20 printers at retail, you're gonna spend about $400,000. But whether you're printing these one day and then you're printing pen caps the next day, like you can be so universal. So to complicate things even further with this part is there's actually a little undercut under here, which actually hides the knot for this, this binocular piece. And so this can't even be injection molded. The mold for this would be very, very expensive because you'd have a slider. So you'd be, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not, it, it can be made is the, is the point there. Speed of injection molding, really depends on the complexity of the parts. You have more more screws, you have more threads, and the part becomes very, very complex. The, the bigger the part of injection molding means a part takes longer to produce. 
you have more material flowing into the mold. And as soon as you add complexity to that, it even increases the time to print. So what do you do to increase your speed? Is you increase more cavities. But if you have more cavities and you have a complex mold, then your mold even becomes more and more expensive. So the same constraints kind of apply with 3D printing, with added manufacturing. The more parts you have that are big, the fewer you can fit on a plate. So if you're printing a part as big as a grapefruit, you may have six of those that can fit on this plate. And kind of what we found is that a grapefruit size part, we can be very, I would say a grapefruit size part and smaller, we can actually 3D print, we can additively manufacture these parts faster than we can injection mold. Anything larger than, than a baseball or grapefruit size, then injection mold is still gonna be faster. Again, depending on the, com the complexity of the mold. The, uh, the daily improvements that are happening with just like the bamboo printer that your 3D printing is going up, these same improvements are happening in the resin technology. You're getting parts that sometimes will take 16 seconds per layer on your Z height to print. And now you're getting parts that are getting down to half a second per layer. So half a second per layer, you could print these parts in probably about 20 minutes for a thousand parts. So this is another part that we just got done printing. We had an order for a million of these parts. So a million of these parts we had, it would take about a 30 to 40 cavity mold to keep up with what we were doing with 3D printing. Uh, a 30 to 40 cavity mold of a part this size, you're looking at probably a half a million dollars, which is, is crazy. And so we're, we're really excited about the technology and, and additive manufacturing. We're excited that it's starting to challenge traditional manufacturing. Many other parts are coming down the pipeline of mass production. If you have any comments, concerns, not con whatever you want to, to shoot our way, we'd love to try to quote your project. We're bringing manufacturing back to America. Thank you.